right, we're joined now by Joyce Main and H Holly Matasovich. Thanks so much for taking time to chat with us today. Thank you. All right, so first question, um, Joyce, we'll start with you. What's the main area of focus here for the journal? So um, I'm the co-editor in chief with David Knight for the Journal of Engineering Education. And primarily we publish research and review articles um, focusing on engineering education. I'm the editor for Advances in Engineering Education and it's a practice-based journal. Mm -hmm. So the manuscripts that we focus on have an engineering education innovation grounded in theory and prior research with a conceptual framework and a good solid evaluation. And what would you say are some of the highlights from this past year for you? So this past year, we moved to having sort of regularly quarterly issues. So January, April, July, and October. And then we've also serialized each issue and gotten DOIs on the issues. And those are important because next steps are gonna be getting our journal indexed in some of the major databases. So that's gonna be our go forward work is that indexing. Okay, Joyce, what would you say the highlights were for you this past year? One of the things that's happened for JEE is that it has moved completely online. And so we are able to publish more articles per issue. Um, along with that is um, we're really striving to increase accessibility to our journal. And so this year we were able to remove the page fees and administration fees. And so hopefully that will encourage more authors to submit to our journal. That transitions nicely into my next question. What is the review process like? In general, when authors submit an article to us, um, David Knight or I will take a look at the article to see if it's within scope. So is it within the relevant area of engineering education? And does it have a theoretical framework? And does it meet the general criteria that we've outlined for the journal? And if yes, then we move it on to an associate editor or an assistant editor who will then pick three reviewers to review the article. And we try to, um, you know, get back to authors within three to four months so that they can hear about, you know, um, the next steps for their um, particular article or manuscript. And what, what about for you? What's the review process like yes, for so, you? So our process is very similar with the exception that we assign two reviewers typically. Um, but I do want to take a minute and just talk about what the experience is like for reviewers since the process is very similar. Um, we try to make it easy for reviewers because we know how busy everybody is and how hard it is to commit to reading one more thing and evaluating one more thing. And so they have the criteria, they read the article considering the criteria, answer a series of questions with ratings, and then also add some comments to enhance the review and try to give helpful and supportive feedback to make the, help the manuscript be that much stronger in the next round. Great, uh, thank you guys so much. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. Thank you.